In today's video, we're going to create this animated gradient in Figma. My name is Jacqueline and this is Ikea Designs. Before we get started, be sure to like and subscribe for more content. Now, let's get started. First, press O on your keyboard and create a circle. Next, set it to an angular gradient. Add more color points to the gradient. Now, start filling the gradient with the colors of your choice. Make sure the colors blend in perfectly. Adjust the color point to create the gradient you want. Now, press F and create a frame. Adjust the frame and round its corners. Once you're done rounding its corners, rename the frame. Drag the gradient into the frame. Duplicate the frame and rotate the gradient by 90 degrees. Duplicate the frame once again and rotate the gradient by 90 degrees again. Repeat the process one more time. Now, select all the frames and create a component set. Switch to prototype and connect the first variant to the second variant. Set it on after delay of 1 millisecond and set it to smart animate. Then change the ease out to linear. Connect the second variant to the third variant and repeat the settings. Connect the third to the fourth and repeat the settings as well. Then finally, connect the fourth to the first with the same settings once again. Hold Alt whilst dragging away the component to use it. Voila! A rotating gradient in Figma. Now, let's switch things up. Duplicate the component, detach instance and then ungroup it. Rename the circle and use command option G to frame it. Duplicate the frame and rotate the gradient by 90 degrees. Duplicate the frame once again and rotate it by 90 degrees again. Repeat this process one last time. Select all the frames and create a component set. Switch to prototype and connect the first variant to the second variant using the settings as shown on the screen. Repeat this for all the other connections. Now, press F, create a frame, round its corners, and drag the components into the shape. Center it and increase its size. Now, you can create several different shapes and use the gradients in them. Voila, our gradient. That's it guys, if you enjoyed this tutorial, be sure to like and subscribe for more content. Thank you for watching.